Security First Corp. Safety through knowledge. What is SASL authentication? Imagine you're trying to log into your favorite email service or a secure server, but you need to make sure that both you and the server are who you claim to be. This is where SASL, or the Simple Authentication and Security layer, comes into play. SASL is a framework that helps different protocols, like email or messaging services, to authenticate users securely. It acts as a middle layer between the application you're using and the authentication mechanisms, making it easier for developers to implement various authentication methods without having to rewrite the entire system. Here's how it works. When you try to log in, the SASL client and server negotiate which authentication mechanism to use. This could be something simple like a username and password or more complex like Kerberos tickets or X509 certificates. The server sends a list of acceptable mechanisms to the client and the client chooses the best one based on its security policy. Once the mechanism is chosen, the client and server start exchanging authentication data. This process can involve multiple steps depending on the mechanism used. For example, if you're using a username and password, the client will send this information to the server, which then verifies it. If additional information is needed, the client will be prompted to provide it. SASL also provides an optional security layer that can ensure data integrity and confidentiality. This means that once you're authenticated, all the data exchanged between the client and server can be encrypted and protected from tampering. Another important aspect of SASL is the distinction between authentication and authorization identities. The authentication identity is who you are based on your credentials, while the authorization identity is who you want to act as. For instance, you might log in as one user, but need to perform actions as another user. In summary, SASL authentication is a versatile and secure way for applications to verify users' identities and ensure that data exchanges are protected. It simplifies the process of implementing various authentication methods and provides a robust security framework for connection-oriented protocols. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.